This is on a mustard C52S, uh, Stinger Deer hair, size 2. This is the uh, Gartside Gurgler. Uh, the original pattern was done by the late friend of mine, Jack Garside. Great fly tire. Attach the uh, tying thread like this. Then we need some bucktail, black bucktail. You can do this in any uh, any colours you want, but this is uh, this is the one I like to fish at night for sea trout. Now you don't stack the bucktail a little bit longer than the hook shank. We can tie this in here, nice and tight. Now, go loosely along the hook shank like this, just so you don't flare everything at once. And this gives a very good foundation for the, uh, for the foam body. Trim that off like that. Now we can tighten it all up. There we go. Back along here. Excellent. That's perfect. Very good. Then we need some Crystal Splash Pearl. So put these in a little longer than the tail couple of turns and then just pull them through and you'll see them turn until you get to the right position. There we go, that's perfect. Good. Then one more on that side, a couple of turns again. Give it a pull until it goes into the, there we are, right position. further with these. Trim these off. One on the other side. Just bring that back to their base. On the other side, cut the loose turns again. Pull this in. There we go. That says done. I mean, you can put in as many as you like, but I mean, it's only to create a little flash. So we're done there. And you want a piece of foam, about so thick. Uh, how to measure this is a little bit longer than the hook length, and at the base of the tail, centre of the foam, put your dubbing needle. There we go, that's marked up and ready. And we need a saddle hackle. I think I'll use olive for this one. Olive goes very well with black. And this is a, uh, <clears throat> to add a little bit of UV in the mix. Let's just see what's going on here. Back here again. Tie this in at the base of the tail. There we go, get that out of the way. Just whip that down on those. Keep that. Your, uh, no we don't need that yet. What we need now, nearly forgot the sight indicator. What we need now is some jumbo flashaboo. Only one strand. Um, and it doesn't have to be that long actually. So some jumbo marabou, uh flashaboo sorry. I replace this on top of the hook shank like so. Tight down the whole way. 
There we go. And back again with the tying thread. Perfect. Now the form in the hole that you made. Back to the tail base. We turn this up now. Fold it around the hook like that. Just open that thread up. And then we take the first once, twice, three times and then tighten up. And you can go around. Don't tighten up too much otherwise you'll cut the foam. There we go. Then in front of the foam, move it along a little. We want quite a few segments here. If I turn this around you'll probably see better. Around there again. Top of the foam. Flatten that thread again. There we go. And do this all the way. A few turns each time on the hook shank. This will stop the foam from slipping around. Right, sorry. Went wrong there. There we are. Perfect. Under the foam, over the foam again, like that. And then around. And you just continue this. All the way. Open that thread again to the hook eye. So you get lots of segments. Try and keep them as even as possible. Just makes for a nicer fly. Again, up there, over there. Nice, and then one more. Okay. I can trim that off. Just turn it up that way. Let me see what I'm doing. Excellent. There we are, that's that done. Now, take the saddle hackle. It's the right way. And we go once, twice, over to the next, and to the next, and to the next. And all the way, following the segmenting. So, tie this off, like so, fold back the hackle and just make a foundation for sorting the foam back out. That's looking good. Press all these back, now pull over the foam back like so. This is how we want the hackles coming out. Very good. And then we open up the thread. Excellent. Then we take the indicator flashaboo over like this and we go once over 
so it's tight. And just pull it down and then release again. You'll get a little mark in there, as you can see there, I hope. So what you can do now is just cut off above that mark, just fractionally above that mark. Over, go over two or three times and then tighten up into the foam again. There we are. And that piece of flashaboo, jumbo flashaboo, will disappear into the foam. Lift the foam back around there. Whip finish. One more. Cool. And remove the tying thread. Turn it on its side. And there's the got side gurgler. Absolutely superb dry fly popper style stripper pattern that uh, when uh, bigger poppers are frightening the fish this one really makes a difference. And if it's done in all black it's a great uh, pattern for night fishing.